Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and this weekend I'm taking a break away from the bustle of Vancouver. We've got family over from the UK and we're heading up to Whistler for the weekend. It's around two and a half hours away and along the way there we're stopping off at Joffre Lakes Provincial Park to go on a hike. It should take us around four hours to do that. It's a 7.5 kilometer hike I believe and we're going to be taking a look at the lakes. Apparently the water on them is extremely blue. I'm not sure if you can see it from up here, if I do that maybe. You can see the water there in some of the mountains. You get to walk around them and stop off in between to take in some of the scenery because as you get in British Columbia, you get mountains and views and photo worthy pictures of these views for sure. I'm gonna be vlogging this today, showing you what's around and uh, try and keep up with deadline day because at the time of filming this and because I do a West Ham channel, it's deadline day and I might have to miss the Luton game today to go on the hike but with these views I let myself off for not watching it today come along and join me and I'll show you what's around it's my first time here and I'm really excited for it We've just stopped off to get a couple of drinks. We're about an hour away now from Joffrey Lakes. The video I just showed you was us actually coming through Whistler and a little bit further on from there, it's Pemberton. Pemberton was home to the Pemberton Music Festival, which was like Canada's version of, well, I suppose Western Canada rather's version of Leeds and Reading. It started in 2008 and ceased operation in 2017 when the company who ran it went bankrupt. Uh, a lot of people I know used to go there. It was a festival in such a stunning mountainous location but now it's just a major tourist destination all year round. Just want to give a couple of facts about Whistler. Whistler is known for having what is considered the best ski resort in North America. I believe Gordon Ramsay has one of his restaurants here and also it was a training and skiing facility for the Olympic athletes during the 2010 Winter Olympics. Um, we're going to be staying there for a couple of nights. I'll get back to you when we get to Joffrey Lakes and talk a little bit more about the area. It's my first time here, so I don't know what to expect right away. But one thing is for sure, I'm going to get some excellent footage. <laughs> You join me about an hour later and we've made it. I'm here at Joffrey Lakes Provincial Park, just parked up the car, put on the essential sunscreen and bug spray. Knowing me, they just swarm on me. It's like the whole cast of Bugs Life seem to love me for some reason, so bug spray is absolute essential for this. Uh, Joffrey Lakes is up just in this direction. I'm gonna film some snippets of this and show you off some of the views as well. This is gonna take about four hours, around seven to eight kilometer walk. Uh, yeah gonna make absolute breeze of this. We're about two and a half kilometers into the hikes. We're about a fifth of the way there. All you can hear on this end is the sound of this waterfall crashing. Wow, all the trees as well, look at this, beautiful, absolutely stunning stuff. We're about halfway up the elevation, the elevation total is meant to be about 500 metres, we're about 230 metres of the way there. Uh, it is a bit physically taxing, but we got through it. Now, at least the hard part's done now. As I was saying, the hard part's over, and now we've made it to water level yet again you can just see him brief on the camera how blue that is that is as turquoise as turquoise can be do you think they can bloody well read that i mean i don't exactly think they're that smart i don't think they can read the english language we must have spent about 15 minutes just staring at this place and i mean how can you not you make mental photos of this place it's Breathtaking. We 
we stopped off again we're on a bit more of a rockier terrain but still it's very blue and it's a little bit warmer right now i might have a little bit of a dip in the water cool myself off a bit got my feet in the water at last it's a little bit cold but it's not too bad um I'll just take my top off as well because it's a bit warm out and uh, a few more people are doing it so I thought why not don't care there's other people watching I mean I'm free spirit and all that this has been my first time hiking in BC and I'm actually a bit uh, disappointed in myself in a way because I've never had the ambition to do a hike prior to this uh, I need to do a hell of a lot more now I used to just worry about the distance and stuff like that but it's really really not that bad when you stop off along the way um i'll probably video and get back to you when i get back to the car because going we've got to get back now from the way we came and going down this trail can be a little bit slippery so i want to focus more of my attention on walking and uh it's gonna take us about maybe an hour maybe less than that even to get back to the car and i'll get back to you then we've just made it to the airbnb it was a bit tired so i dozed off a little bit in the car this Airbnb is actually in what was the Olympic accommodation back in 2010. It's really nice so far, and it's even got a jacuzzi, which I'm going to take a dip in right now and just have a relax. Might have a little bit of a kip as well later today, but that was a really good walk. Joff Lake Provincial Park is stunning. It's probably the nicest place I've been to yet in BC, and I've been to a few places with mountains and lakes. I mean, my damn stepmom live in an area where it's got that. But Joff Lake so far is my favourite hope to do many more of these kind of trails and i'll put it on this channel i'm gonna get in the pool uh well jacuzzi rather right now so take care everyone and i'll see you all soon